still awaiting fellow American Gracie Gold. But it will be Japan Satoko Miyahara coming up next. Satoko Miyahara. Third after the short program. Silver at the 2015 World, silver at four continents. You mentioned this is someone who could challenge the American ladies as far as gold when it comes to worlds. She's a very consistent skater. Maybe missing a little bit of height in her jump sometimes. She'll tend to leave a little bit of points on the table because her jump gets a little under rotated. She's one of those with an effortless glide. Great quality of skating. skating is the posture of her back on her landing, extremely straight. It's definitely a sense of lightness in her skating. really fast which is good you need to fit in three rotation but there's definitely a lack of height in her jump triple toe. Those triple jumps she puts in combination is one way to put yourself on the podium. Those are very good to maximize your points. Very, very good. Especially if you do them well, like she is doing today. And I see what you mean about the height, but really she is landing the jumps. Yeah. You just got to get it done. It doesn't really matter that I find mm -hmm. that her jumps are not high enough. She gets them done. The silver medalist at the 20, 
15 World Championships with a skate she seems pleased with here at Skate America. Sitting in third Once after again, the short Japan, program. Satoko Miyahara. 17 year old Satoko Miyahara from Japan. Looking to continue to push forward, make a name for herself, as we mentioned with Mao Sada returning. And what did you think of her performance? All right, very solid today. Extremely great start of her season. I think with the Mao Sada coming back, it can only help everyone raise their level. That's what you want. You want to compete against the best. If Mawasada thinks she's still the best, then she should welcome her back. Very elegant skater. Once again, very quick to get into the rotation. Triple flip. Might have been under rotated, I'm not sure. I know she left some point on the table in her short program with that jump. Well, she did pick up medals in both of her Grand Prix assignments last season. It was a bronze at Skate Canada and a bronze at NHK Trophy. Looking to find another podium finish here on the Grand Prix circuit as we await her marks. After her performance in the short, I know you were impressed as well by seeing her and saying this is somebody who will give somebody like a Gracie Gold a challenge. Yeah, she likes to lay low in the weeds and really she'll get the job done. And you know, you don't want to be the skater that always capitalizes on somebody's mistakes, but that's part of the sport. And you, you want to win outright because you were the best that night. But I, I do think before she gets there, she'll need to improve on a few aspects of her skating. And one of them is obviously her, her jump. There's nothing wrong with the technique, but yet, you no, know, if she starts extending her legs in the air, uh, she might get that extra quarter of a turn that's now missing on some of her jumps. Well, she too is choreographer, one of the choreographers for hers, Canadian Lori Nickel. I mean, she's, she's aside from, you know, the thing I keep mentioning, which I won't anymore, <laughs> she's a total package. Of, the music is fantastic, the costume, the, the look, the attention to detail. And once again, you got to credit Lori Nickel for that. Satoko Miyahara of Japan, as you see for her free skating program. 122.95. So the marks are good enough steps. to put her in first at and the moment. The total is 188.07. She is currently in first place. Satoko Miyahara looking to pick up where she left off on the Grand Prix circuit from last year, continuing to aim for the podium.